performing 100 pull-ups in a day is an impressive feat of strength and endurance. It requires a combination of muscular endurance, upper body strength, and mental fortitude. Pull-ups primarily work the muscles of the back, shoulders, and arms, and are a challenging exercise for even the fittest individuals. Whether you are looking to challenge yourself, increase your overall fitness, or prepare for a specific event, working towards completing 100 pull-ups in a day is an achievable goal with proper training and dedication. In this article, we will explore some tips and strategies to help you reach this milestone. Track your progress. Keep track of your progress by logging the number of pull-ups you do each day. Celebrate your achievements and adjust your training program as needed to continue making progress. Assess your current pull-up abilities. Grab the bar with an overhand grip, palms facing away from your body, and hang from it with your arms fully extended. Engage your back muscles and pull your body up towards the bar until your chin is over the bar. Lower your body back down to the starting position with control. Repeat steps 2 to 3 as many times as you can without pausing or resting on the ground. Note down the number of pull-ups you were able to complete in one set. This will give you an idea of your current pull-up capacity and help you set a realistic goal for your training program. If you're unable to do a full pull-up yet, don't worry. You can start with assisted pull-ups or other exercises to build your strength and work your way up to doing full pull-ups. Set a realistic goal. Setting a realistic goal is an important step in achieving your target of doing 100 pull-ups in a day. Your current capacity will be a good indicator of where you should start. If you can currently do 10 pull-ups in one set, doing 100 pull-ups in a day might be quite challenging. It is important to set a goal that is challenging but still achievable. For instance, you might set a goal of doing 50 pull-ups in a day initially, and then gradually increase the number as you progress. This will allow you to build your strength and endurance over time without overwhelming your body with too much stress. Additionally, keep in mind that everyone's fitness level is different, and it's important to set a goal that is specific to your current abilities. So, set a realistic goal that challenges you, but is still within your reach. With dedication and consistent training, you can work towards increasing your capacity and eventually achieve your target of 100 pull-ups in a day. Schedule your training. Set aside enough time. Make sure to set aside enough time for your training sessions, including warm-up and cool-down periods. Depending on your current fitness level, you may need to train for several weeks or months before achieving your goal. Choose a schedule that works for you. Depending on your schedule and personal preferences, you can choose to train once a day or split your training into multiple sessions throughout the day. For instance, you could do 10 sets of 10 pull-ups with a few minutes of rest between sets, or you could break it down into 4 sets of 25 pull-ups, with longer rest periods in between. Allow time for rest and recovery. It's essential to allow your body enough time to rest and recover between training sessions. Make sure to take at least one day off per week, and listen to your body. If you feel fatigued or so, take a break or do a lighter workout. Monitor your progress. Keep track of the number of pull-ups you do each day, and gradually increase the number as you get stronger. If you're doing multiple sets throughout the day, try to increase the number of pull-ups per set or reduce the rest time in between sets. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to achieving your fitness goals. Stick to your training schedule, stay motivated, and you'll be able to work your way up to doing 100 pull-ups in a day. Start with an appropriate training program. Starting with an appropriate training program is crucial for building your strength and endurance and working your way up to doing 100 pull-ups in a day. Here are a few training programs that you could consider based on your current pull-up ability level. Assisted pull-ups. If you are unable to do a full pull-up yet, you could start with assisted pull-ups using a resistance band or an assisted pull-up machine. Gradually reduce the level of assistance over time as you build your strength. Increasing reps in a single set. If you can already do a few pull-ups, focus on increasing the number of reps you can do in a single set. For example, you could start by doing 3 sets of 5 pull-ups and gradually increase the number of reps in each set over time. Increasing sets in a workout. If you can already do a moderate number of pull-ups in one set, you could focus on increasing the number of sets you do in a workout. For example, you could start with 5 sets of 10 pull-ups and gradually increase the number of sets over time. Grease the groove. This program involves doing several sets of pull-ups throughout the day, without going to failure. For instance, you could do 5 sets of 5 pull-ups every hour, for a total of 25 pull-ups a day. Gradually increase the number of sets or reps over time. Remember to gradually increase the intensity of your training program over time to avoid injury and allow your body to adapt. Also, make sure to incorporate rest days and proper nutrition to support your training efforts. Incorporate different types of pull-ups. Incorporating different types of pull-ups into your training program can help you build overall upper body strength, prevent plateaus, and challenge your muscles in new ways. 
Here are a few different types of pull-ups that you can incorporate into your training program. Wide grip pull-ups, this variation involves using a wider than the shoulder width grip on the bar. It primarily targets the lats and upper back muscles. Chin-ups, in this variation, you grip the bar with your palms facing toward you. It targets your biceps and upper back muscles. Neutral grip pull-ups, this variation involves using a parallel grip, with your palms facing each other. It targets the muscles in your back, biceps, and forearms. Commando pull-ups, this variation involves using a mixed grip, with one hand facing toward you and the other facing away from you. It targets the muscles in your forearms, biceps, and upper back. Towel pull-ups, this variation involves hanging a towel over the pull-up bar and gripping the towel instead of the bar. It challenges your grip strength and targets the muscles in your forearms, biceps, and upper back. Incorporating different types of pull-ups can help you develop well-rounded upper body strength and prevent boredom in your training program. Make sure to focus on proper form and gradually increase the intensity of your training over time to avoid injury. Use proper form. Make sure to use proper form when performing pull-ups to avoid injury and get the most out of your training. Keep your core engaged, pull your shoulder blades down and back, and use a full range of motion. Using proper form when performing pull-ups is critical for avoiding injury and maximizing the benefits of your training. Here are a few tips to help you maintain proper form. Grip the bar with your palms facing away from you, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Keep your shoulders down and back, away from your ears, and engage your core throughout the movement. Pull your body up towards the bar, leading with your chest and keeping your elbows close to your sides. Pull yourself up until your chin clears the bar, then slowly lower yourself back down to the starting position with control. Use a full range of motion, ensuring that you fully extend your arms at the bottom of the movement and pull your chest up to the bar at the top. Avoid swinging your body or using momentum to complete the movement. Instead, focus on using your back and arm muscles to lift your body. Remember to start with a manageable number of pull-ups and gradually increase the intensity of your training program over time. If you experience any pain or discomfort during the exercise, stop and rest or seek advice from a medical professional. Track your progress. Tracking your progress is an essential part of achieving your pull-up goals. By logging the number of pull-ups you do each day, you can monitor your progress and adjust your training program as needed. Here are some tips to help you track your progress effectively. Use a workout journal or app to log your daily pull-up workouts. Write down the number of reps you completed, the type of pull-up you did, and any notes on how you felt during the workout. Set specific milestones or goals for yourself, such as increasing the number of reps you can do in a single set or reaching a certain number of total pull-ups per day. Celebrate your achievements along the way, no matter how small. Recognizing your progress can help motivate you to continue training and make improvements. If you find that you are not making progress towards your goals, adjust your training program. This could include increasing the number of sets you do each day, changing the types of pull-ups you do, or adjusting your rest time between sets. Be patient and consistent. Achieving a higher number of pull-ups can take time and effort, so it's important to stay committed to your training program. Remember to always listen to your body and adjust your training program as needed. By tracking your progress and making adjustments along the way, you can successfully reach your pull-up goals. Remember, everyone's fitness journey is unique, so listen to your body and adjust your training program as needed. With dedication and persistence, you can achieve your goal of doing 100